about to buy my flight <laughs> to Madrid to do the Camino and I, I just want to start the whole documenting of this adventure pilgrimage um, with this because I am I just am so excited but nervous it's a nervous like fearful excitement and um, it's really freaky and I'm but I'm gonna <laughs> doing it anyway and it's like you know when you I don't know about anyone else but I I decided to do this about two and a half weeks ago and I've been training and reading up and learning all about what I need to take and making my list and thinking about stuff. But this is where you know, shit really gets real and I'm just about to push the button and I just thought, okay, this is the perfect moment to document what I'm feeling like right before this whole thing becomes a reality in my life. So um, here we go. <laughs> Stay tuned. I was just reflecting upon why I'm going to do this and I have a lot of different reasons and I have a lot of different um, intentions but I think the bottom line is if I didn't do this I, I might just kind of lose it <laughs> because I'm just kind of getting to this place in life where I, I look around me and I just see so many unhappy people. And, I, and I'm and i just, it makes me sad. It makes me sad to think that um, how many people don't live to their full potential. They don't live out their dreams and live, live the thing that's in their heart. And you know, I have something in my heart and I've got to find it. And I, you know, I got to let it out and um, I refuse to go down without singing my song, whatever that song is. And as Wayne Dyer said, um, don't die with your song unsung. Last night I was starting to panic as I was packing for the 12th time. <laughs> and my pack weighed um, 22 pounds and I'm I'm trying to stick to the rule of 10% of your body weight. And so, you know, without giving away too many secrets, it shouldn't weigh more than about 100 and, oh my God. it shouldn't, the bag shouldn't weigh more than 2,000 pounds. The bag shouldn't weigh more than like, you know, I was hoping for like 12 to 13 pounds at the most. You know, definitely not more than 15 pounds. Well, anyway, so it's 22 pounds, and then I couldn't. Then I, I wasn't even going to have enough room for food because then I'm reading all the blogs and everything on the Camino, and it's like you've got to have room for food, and and that was with my my uh, two liter bladder full, which is 4.4 pounds, and I got it. You know, that's just part of the deal. And then I have a water bottle too that I'm going to use for my vitamins and just you know slam that down whenever I need it. But um, so anyway, I panicked and I couldn't hardly sleep last night. I was so stressed out. So I get up this morning and I took everything out. I made this giant list of all the things I need to get done. And I'm wearing my retainer because I didn't wear it last night. I was so beside myself, I forgot to put it on. So I'm not gonna punish myself and wear it all day. Anyway, I took everything out and one by one, I went through, I went through every even individual Advil. And I just said, I don't need this many Advil. Why do I need like 400 or whatever? I had like probably 50 Advil. Because they have Advil along the way. I'll get Advil as I go if I need it. And um, you know, so I just, I just went through every little thing that I had and I got my pack down. When I got on the scale, I got my pack down to, guess what, 13 pounds. And I was just like, yeah, fucking A, Skippy, I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm a little tense right now because I just have so many loose ends. Not really a, a bazillion loose ends, just enough to make me just a slight bit crazier than usual. And I also checked the weather report last night, which kept me up as well. It's gonna be raining on my first step towards the Pyrenees. I am not prepared for rain. I only have, a, I had a poncho. You know, I've been in the rain and I've been backpacking in the rain before and I wanna really be ready. I'm gonna get pants that cover my shoes. Sonia, my friend, loaned me her yellow slicker and you know, it's lightweight and everything and it's got a hood. I'm gonna get some little gaiters for my shoes. I'm gonna be 
totally as prepared as possible, including I want to get little gloves that my, so my hands are not going to be wet and cold and freezing. You know, and even if it's not freezing, I don't want it to be wet and cold. I don't want to suffer. Why should I suffer? I'm going there to have some, you know, to find inner peace, not to find a piece of hell. How is this going to change my life when I get back? And in my dreams, you know, in my, which the Camino was one of my dreams, so why can't coming back be a, another part of my dream? Um, just to step up my game in my life and enjoy every day, every moment. Julia Louis Dreyfus said that her mother told her, always have something to look forward to. And you know, there is something really important about that because ever since I decided to do the Camino, I have been so energized every day and, and all kinds of emotions, not just, you know, excited and happy. No, not even really that. Just energized to to accomplish something, to tackle this thing and to prep for it and to plan for it and to meet people and talk to people. And it's like been such an inspiration, just planning it and not even doing it. And um, so I'm just now getting uh, four days before I go, starting to get excited about going, really excited. D-Day, the morning I'm leaving. This is my entire situation. Head to toe. When you walk on the way, you will know what to say. Buey Camino. <laughs> Though I don't know your name, we will greet just the same. Buey Camino. Wish you were with